what do you do in that situation when you find a weird person sniffing your panties? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bray, and today, 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 I have a story time for you. So now everybody is going back to school. Um, I think now is the perfect time to tell you about my college roommate experience. So as a freshman in college, I had three different roommates. Yes. Not only did I have three roommates, I had them all in one semester. And out of the three, there was only one normal one, okay? <laughs> and we're actually still friends to this day, but as far as the other two, oh no, 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 no. So the let's just get into this because it's some craziness, okay? So the first roommate I had, we're just gonna call her Ashley. So she started off with the little small white lies, if you will. So she would um, get like real jealous and possessive that actually looking back on it that probably was like the first red flag but I kind of kind of just like brushed it off I didn't really think nothing of so, it the one normal roommate who we're actually still friends she didn't like how close we were she didn't like us hanging out we're all adults here I'm free to make my own decision about people <laughs> and my roommate was crazy which her opinion is not valid to me so anyways my friend and I started getting closer and closer and now we're like I consider her to be one of my best friends so my roommate didn't like that she thought that I was her property I assume so she started to do weird stuff so like the first thing was she would fake injuries yes you heard that right she would literally fake an injury so one day I helped a girl who was on crutches to her room. She had a lot of books and stuff. So I helped her to her room and my roommate did not, did not like that at all. So after I helped the girl get situated in her room or whatever, I go back up to the room and I find my roommate on the floor talking about she broke her ankle. Yes, she broke her ankle. So I'm like, broke your ankle. Like, I just seen you like five minutes ago. What happened? Oh, when I was coming up the stairs, I broke my ankle. I'm like, it's probably just a sprain. Um, how do you know it's broken? Like, show it to me. So I look at it and I, I don't see, it doesn't look broke to me. Again, I'm not a doctor, but it didn't look broke to me. So she starts limping on, I want to say it was like her left side. That don't really matter. But she started limping on one side. And I'm like, okay, cool. We go to the calf, meet up with my friend, and she switches it up. Now she's limping on the right side. So I'm like, girl, if you want to lie, like, keep it straight. Make it believable. <sighs> so then, shortly after that, stuff started to go missing. My stuff, in particular, was never her stuff. Mind you, two people in the room. If somebody took it, it's either going to be me or her. She don't have people in her room. And the only person I have in the room is one of my good friends. And I know it wasn't her taking my stuff. So, it started off with, like, small stuff. Like, my brother would send me money for food. So, I would go to the store and get, like, you know, like, college stuff. Like, Pop-Tarts, Capri Suns, stuff like that. You know, like, not expensive stuff, but still my stuff. So, it started going missing. Like, her stuff wasn't missing. So, I'm like what are the odds right what are the odds so you know i asked her about it like hey you know i just went to the store i had x amount of whatever and now i have this do you know what's up with that so she was like oh no it probably was somebody you know in a building they probably took it so i'm like okay well do you leave the door open because i don't leave it open and in order to get in our room we have to unlock it so are you having somebody in here that i need to be worried about and she's like Oh, no, if you're that worried about it, then you could just get a lock. Like, she just started to get real defensive. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I didn't really press it because obviously this is a roommate and she was already acting weird and I don't got time for that. So whatever. A little more time goes by and I start to notice I'm missing clothes. 
And in particular, it was panties, like panties. I'm just like, that's so like, that's the weirdest thing ever, right? But then I was like, you know what? When I wash clothes, we wash it on a college campus. Sometimes people take, you know, like sometimes people take out your clothes if your clothes are still in there and they need to get into the dryer and they'll put it in the dryer. So whatever. Cool. So I'm like, it's weird, but I don't know. Maybe somebody, maybe I left it in the washer and didn't put it in the dryer and then somebody took it home. But I'm like, this is happening far too often for it to just be a coincidence, you know? So, you know, I told my friend, I'm like, yo, like, my, my, this is weird, but, like, my panties keep going missing. And she was like, what? Like, my panties, like, keep going missing. She was like, she said, she, we kind of was thinking the same thing. Like, maybe somebody, um, when we was watching it, took it. So, I'm like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, stuff just kept going missing, whatever. I just was like, okay, well, maybe somebody is stealing it. So, then she started faking seizures. Yes, she started faking seizures so she could get attention. So if I was to go out with my friend, she would fake a seizure so I could stay with her. And when she would fake her seizure, she literally would just zone out like this. I just had a seizure. Can you tell me what happened? I've never had a seizure before, but I feel like if you have a seizure you probably don't know that you're having a seizure and you probably won't come out of the seizure immediately asking what just happened. I think, I don't know. You let me know. You be the judge of that. So that was super weird. So I went to um like the, what do you call those people? Not the RA, like above the RA. Cause at this point I was like, oh, I gotta go. So I went to her and I talked to her about it and she was like, you know, those are a lot of coincidences. Just try to stick it out. And if anything like physical or something like that happens, let me know. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just try to, you know, try to stick it out. Cause again, I'm a freshman and you know, I don't, I don't want like the extra stuff. So, um, next thing I know, we are, me and my friend, we're washing clothes and I forget, I, I forgot what I, I don't remember what it was. It, it either was soap or throwing something. I forgot it upstairs. So I had to go back and get it. So as I go back to the room, I see the door is like slightly open, like a little ajar. And I'm like, that's weird to just have the door open because I, you know, I locked it when I left. So I pushed the door open and I find my roommate sniffing my panties. I know. I know. <laughs> I couldn't believe it either. I'm like, what do you do in that situation when you find a weird person sniffing your panties? I don't know what bothered me more. I don't know if it bothered me that she was actually sniffing my panties or it bothered me that she either didn't care so that she left the door open so that I could find her or she's so comfortable doing this, she didn't even realize the door was still open. To this day, I still have so many questions. So many questions. But anyways, I confront her and I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Like, those are mine still mid sniff and she's like oh these are yours i was just sniffing them to see to, I, I, I was just sniffing them to see if they was clean that's the best you can come up with you was just sniffing them to see if they was clean okay if you gotta sniff your panties to see if they clean probably not clean probably shouldn't wear them that's just that. I don't know what else to tell you. So clearly after that, I was done with her, completely done with her. Come to find out that she was the one with my panties. Yeah, so I don't know what she was doing with the panties before I found her. Mind you, this is like October. So she had, she had a good little while with my panties. She was taking my panties, doing God knows what with my panties. Um... I can't. I can't. So after that, 
my friend, her roommate actually went back home. So she just had an extra bed. So I moved my stuff into her room. I didn't ask anybody. I just moved my stuff into her room. And from then on, we was roommates. And there was no weirdness <laughs> with us. There was no panties, sniffing, no nothing. It was great. Hence why we're still friends. So anyways, there was a situation that happened on campus and we both had to get to roommates. We had to leave the dorm we was in. I'll leave that for another story time. But anyways, we had to change the dorm that we was in. So therefore, I get a new roommate, right? And this is like November towards December. So the semester is almost over. So I'm like, you know what, whatever. What's the worst that could happen, right? After you have a roommate who sniffs your panties, what else can go wrong, right? think right right okay so anyways the girl that i'm in a room with now this is upperclassmen dorm so the girl i'm in a I'm roommates with now she's not a panty sniffer but she was a very free person she she was a free bird okay so she knew i was coming they warned her that i was coming they warned her that she would be getting a roommate and she opened the door for me naked yes she opened the door with no clothes on. Like, hey girl, roomy. <laughs> like, girl, girl. So I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe she washed her clothes. <laughs> Don't know. So I was like, okay, whatever, you know, maybe she'll start wearing clothes at a later date. That never happened. She was always almost naked. She either was naked or she only had on a shirt. But the shirt didn't fit. So I seen, use your imagination, okay? So the next thing that would happen is her and her boyfriend had issues or whatever. And they would fight in the room, like get physical in the room while people was there. So if I were having my friend over there, like arguing, getting physical in the room, really uncomfortable. She was more of like an uncomfortable person more than like a creepy killer person. So I kind of like ignored it. I would just leave if they had an issue. But she also had a bad habit of having him over to make up, use your imagination, um, after fights, right? So there were several, several times I would wake up and they would be having sex. Yeah, just having sex, no big deal. Mind you, I was asleep. Okay, so I wake up to this and the way our room was positioned, there was nothing I can do. Okay, like there was nothing I can do. So I literally either had to get up in the middle of them doing whatever they was doing and see all of their business or lay there until it was done. <laughs> I can't, I can't. So... That was it. That was my roommate experience, my college roommate experience. And like I said, I had one crazy one. And then I had one who was very free uh, and she made me uncomfortable. But I say that to say, now you're going back to school. Please, 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 please do not ignore the red flags do not let it go on and on and think it's going to get better and sometimes it may get better but i don't want you to see if it doesn't get better okay so that's the end of the video i hope that you like comment subscribe we are on the road to 100 subscribers i want to say we're almost at 50 at this point so we would love it if you join the fam bye